Yo, what up? My name is Don, and today we're going to be checking out the second track off Bleed From Within's album, Era. This one's called Crown of Misery, and there is a music video for it, so I'm excited to check that out. Let's hop right in. What up, everyone? Don here. So it seems like as I was uploading this video, it got blocked from being viewed worldwide by Century Media, who is one of Bleed From Within's music labels. So in order to accommodate for that, I actually took out the first half of this reaction, where I generally just watch the music video and or song and just listen to it. Um, so this video is just the second half and me doing a little review on it. Um, hopefully we don't have any issues in the next video. Enjoy. All right. So first of all, it comes in, you know, <laughs> even the build up is like 200 BPM just right out the bat. Just go. I love it. I love it. I really like the aesthetic of this music video too. Um, even though it's just them jamming in like a, a warehouse or a big open space, you know, I really like the aesthetic of the, uh, the, the woman wearing the, the veil or the crown of misery here. I just like the, the visual representation of the lyrics. I think it's really cool. And like, man, it, oh God, dude. I just want to turn that, crank that right up. Yeah, Groove that just has that swing. That swing where you can like, you know, that offbeat swing to it is like some of my favorite stuff. They got, they just got everything in the song. Just big sweeping choruses. You know, um, little melodic sections that, you know, Again, what Goonzie's doing right here, just to that little lead line to take you from one section to the next was just just so tasteful, bro. And like I said previously, Ali is just absolutely murdering the drums in this entire track. But like I, I'm like that. I mean, obviously, you know, uh, Steve Jones has longer hair. It could have been shorter, like back in 2018. Like I don't know. I'm gonna have to find out. I do like the effect on Scott's voice here. That, you know, kind of in the background, kind of uh, in the distance, over over like a radio broadcast kind of sound. And then just bring it to the, you know, full to the front in the, in the sound bed, in the sound mix. Yeah, man. Just sick. I love that little little bass slide down from the like 12th fret or whatever. Yeah, this part is such a little break, sick little breakdown. Absolutely monster. Oh, <laughs> what a just tasty squeal, dude. I love how they bring back in this speed, but still like the speed mindful to the groove and the aggression. Oh, just perfect. Oh, wow, dude. That was so sick. That was so sick. That was so thrashy, groovy, sick. Full speed. Full speed ahead. Wow. Um, I wish there was a guitar playthrough on that. I couldn't find one. So we're just going to go back through the music video and check it out. Wow, dude. Um, unbelievable. So, okay. So, <laughs> um, let's see. Era. I think somebody told me that, um, somebody mentioned that uh, when uh, Stephen Jones came in, their current rhythm player, it was towards the end of era. Um, it says here on the wiki, Steve Jones would join the band as new guitarist and uh, replacing... Da -da 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 -da. Um, I'm not sure. They, they were saying that uh, Stephen came in at the end of era. I'm not exactly sure. Again, it's hard to tell if this is Stephen in this music video. Regardless, dude, 
This is sick. This is absolutely sick. I wonder if it says uh, their name in... No, it doesn't say... On some of the new um, songs, uh, it, it'll say, you know, all the current members, all the current band members. But under this video, it doesn't say uh, whether it was um, Steve or or Steve Jones or Martin Evans, the previous rhythm uh, guitarist. Anyways, that was absolutely sick. Crown of Misery is definitely going to go up very high in my uh, list of songs that I want to learn because that was super thrashy, super groovy, and those are definitely two qualities of metal that I su I just, I love it, right? So I love that, like, how they bring down the ending twice. Absolutely monstrous. That was absolutely sick. That song's super good. Super good. Crown of Misery. I always love when they do music videos, Um, you know, especially the music videos off their Fracture and Shrine albums, but I always love when bands do music videos and do it, you know, um, I just want to see what's in their what's in their heads, what's you know what's creatively going on um, visually, and what you know what they think about, like how they want to represent the song. I think it's just a, a cool, another cool uh, insight into the song, right? Into you know understanding the song and kind of what it wants you to see or what it wants you to imagine. Um, so that's really really cool. I would love to know your guys' thoughts on that song. That was definitely a thrasher. Uh, just maximum thrash, maximum groove on that one. I would, I'm very welcoming of more songs like that on the album. Um, and like I said yesterday, I'm still looking forward to the rest of the album because just the whole, just the whole journey, how, how they lay out all the, you know, where they want to put the faster songs, the more, maybe the more brutal songs, the more groovier songs. Um, but there's been a lot of surprises, a lot of freaking awesome, beautiful surprises on Fracture and Shrine. That I was like, you know, whoa, that's kind of unexpected. So I'm, I'm expecting the same thing to happen here with the Era album. And uh, like I said, share your thoughts down below in the comments. And as always, if you like content like this, reactions like this, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.